Voxel-based morphometry, or VBM, is the measurement of cortical thickness and volume at each voxel of a T1-weighted anatomical scan. These metrics can then be used to test for differences between groups. Compared to controls, for example, persons with Alzheimer's may have reduced gray matter thickness and volume in the hippocampus. Longitudinal designs can go further by testing whether these changes in gray matter predict the onset of a cognitive disorder, and whether specific interventions are effective. The Computational Anatomy Toolbox is a software package for measuring brain volume and thickness. Developed by the Structural Brain Mapping Group at the University of Jena in Germany, it is designed as a toolbox for SPM-12. Hence the name of the most recent version, CAT-12. It is similar to FreeSurfer, but much faster, and may be a good alternative software package for some researchers. CAT-12 also generates useful quality assurance reports in PDF format, which quantify, among other metrics, the amount of noise and distortion in the anatomical images. This provides a quick and simple check for whether to exclude particular subjects, and can help determine whether the scanner is producing high or low quality data. The following walkthrough will demonstrate how to use CAT-12 with data downloaded from the Alzheimer's Disease Neuroimaging Initiative, or ADNI. As a result, this will be my first tutorial demonstrating how to analyze data from a large open access repository focusing on a specific clinical population. We will also learn how to use this toolbox both on your local machine and how to submit it as a job on a supercomputing cluster. Let's begin by downloading the toolbox. CAT12 is designed to work with SPM12 using the same libraries for many of its functions. If you haven't already, I recommend working through the SPM tutorials on the ebook. In addition to learning how the SPM12 graphical user interface works, which is similar to the CAT12 interface, you will also learn about toolboxes, separate programs that rely on a foundational program such as SPM12. Just like MarsBar and the WFU PIG Atlas, for example, CAT12 is another toolbox that will be opened through the SPM GUI. The download and installation instructions for SPM12 can be found in the link below, as well as on the ebook here. Once you have installed SPM12, the CAT12 toolbox can be found on this link. Click on the download button and then download CAT12, which will start the download. This will take some time and I'm going to come back when it finishes. I also want to mention here that I've been having issues lately using Chrome to download the CAT12 toolbox and here I am instead using the Safari browser. I'll come back in a few moments when the package is finished downloading. When CAT12 has finished downloading, open up a terminal. Assuming that SPM12 is in your home directory, type the following, mv tilde slash downloads slash CAT12, and then tilde slash SPM slash toolbox. I already have it installed, so it's gonna give me this message about the directory not being empty, but it should work on your computer. Then go to a MATLAB terminal and type SPM fMRI to open the SPM12 graphical user interface. From the toolbox drop-down menu, select CAT12, and you should see something like this. If this all works without any issues, you are ready to download and analyze data from the ADNI website, which we will cover in the next video.